this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today we're going to look at a portable sound system from JBL. This was kind of a hot little sound system at NAMM. They were showing us off in the JBL room and we are going to dive into it. We are looking at the Eon 206P. This is a small portable sound system. Very, very tiny. I've actually been playing with it and doing some different things around not only the office here, but taking it out into the field a little bit. And it is a really kind of a fabulous little sound system for, you know, to use in different applications. Maybe for a wedding ceremony, maybe if you're an aerobics instructor and you need to have a little sound, if you need to have some background music in the backyard, it's a kind of a cool little sound system. This unit features 160 watts of power, 2 times 80, so you're sending out 80 watts to both sides, but the speakers themselves are very efficient, so you're getting a pretty good volume. We had it in a larger room, and we're playing it, and you're not going to be getting dance thump, thump, thump from it, but you're getting a really good quality sound, a very clear sound, and again, it's a it's a great little box. This guy weighs about 25 pounds, so it's very easy for a, a, you know to carry it up and up a flight of stairs if you need to, or if you're a smaller person, smaller stature person, or you know many many gals find some of these bigger portable units like that really kind of difficult to move. One of the features I really like about the Eon 206P is the ability to kind of put everything together so it's all in one unit where you can snap the two speakers on the end and everything is one hand and off I go. So really, I could go with my backpack with my laptop, I can go with this, and I've got my sound system to do, say, ceremony music in the backyard. We've looked at a lot of portable sound systems over the years, and one thing I really like about the Eon 206P is that the speaker connections are in the back. Now, some of those have the speaker connections in the front, and you've got the wires. Well, in the JBL unit, you can see the speaker connection is right there. You can plug it in to the back of the speaker and then to tape the cable down or, or if you're using a scrim and you've got that on in the speaker stand, everything is going to look kind of hidden and clean. And that's really kind of big, especially if you're doing events like a ceremony. Now, the EN 206P is saying it's a four channel unit and it technically is, but in reality, it's really more of a three channel. You've got your mic channel to one, mic channel two, and you've got your inputs three and four, and three and four are kind of combined. You can see that they're under the same volume control. And you can use two quarter inch with three, or you can use the RCAs for four. So if you have your tablet, depending upon the connection, you're usually eighth inch and two RCA. You can go right into four. You've got the control so you can adjust your tablet. Now there isn't any EQing on those channels, which is kind of a, a limiting factor to a point, but the sound quality of the unit was so good, I really didn't feel the need to be EQing that. And on the mic channels, of course, you've got the ability to do some EQing if you need to, because on a microphone, that's much more important. And channels one and two also have that combination where you can be using the XLR, you can be using a tip ring sleeve, or you can be using a, a quarter inch line in. So there's a lot of flexibility. So if you really needed to, you could be running your your tablet into channels one and two and have some EQ, but then of course you lose your microphone. Another feature you'll notice up towards the top is a little limit light. And I've used sound systems like this at different events. And sometimes you will actually have that little kind of power module sitting next to you. And it's really kind of neat to be able to see that little LED that's up there. It's a little yellow LED that's the limit light. And if you start pushing a little bit too hard, that will start to engage and protect the speakers and protect the amplifiers from basically ripping itself apart. So overall, for the right application, I think the JBL Eon 206P is a great little system. As you can see, it's compact size-wise, only about so big. It's a very small, compact, lightweight, 25 pounds right there, easy to use. It has, a again, a wonderful sound, but it's not for every application. If you're needing to have that quality of JBL and you need something portable and you need something that will do, you know, that's background music, ceremony music, something to that effect. If you need the microphones for an announcing of, of, you know, backyard games or something, this is certainly an option you need to check out. We'll put a link in the description so you can check out the JBL Eon 206P. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Uh -huh.